Hi, everyone. I'm Lauren Fanaro, content editor here at Scribe, and I'm with my friend Quantel Mosley, online business manager and owner of Quantel Latte LLC. Hey there, Quantel. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing great, and I'm so excited to be here chatting with you. Awesome. Me too. I would love to hear a little bit about what you do. Could you tell us? Yes. So I'm an online business manager and I manage a few accounts for a few businesses. And I absolutely love what I do. Um, I help them with their operations, their people, their strategies, and also their systems. So. So it sounds like you have a lot of good uses for Scribe. Absolutely. <laughs> I love me subscribe. <laughs> and we love us some you. Could you tell us about how you even found us? You're one of our first users. I'd love to hear about how you came across Scribe and then what your first reaction was. Absolutely. So I typed in um, when I was looking for Scribe, like step by step process generator. Like I always try to find generators, like something easy. I was like, some nerd out there probably created this tool. Um, and so I didn't find that, but I was inside of a Facebook group and someone had mentioned like they had heard of it and it was like one other person. And I actually went to the link. I saw that no one clicked the link and I was like, I'll click on this link. And I saw that Scribe had a Facebook group and I was like, let me try it out. So when I downloaded it and I experienced it, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I was so excited to actually find something that was a step-by-step -step process generator. So it was great. You were right. Some nerd did do it and it was us. Exactly. <laughs> so since you're working mostly with clients, could you tell us a bit about what the problem Scribe solves for you is? Yes. So for me, it cuts down on a lot of time when it comes to my standard operating procedures that I have to produce for my clients. So as an OB, uh, OBM, like one of the main things that we have to do is make sure that the standard operating procedures are like a part of the business. So no business. It's fun to have the system set up, but then it's like, how do you translate what takes place inside of that system and also translate what like actually how to actually work that system and so when you're working with teams there's a lot of back and forth between this is how I do this this is how you're trained on this and so um, instead of manually having to do screenshots or instead of having to go back and then write all of the steps scribe cuts down so much time by just saying okay I'm not going to send a loom video because videos can get a little bit outdated. And if one part changes, you have to go back and like edit that. But with the scribes, you're easily able to record your entire process, delete, you're able to add. And it's a beautiful feature to just have. And so I like having that in addition to video, like right, having that as an option. But it saves you so much time on not having to go back and screenshot and manually do your process. It's the manual part for me. So for it to be automated, and I'm all about automation, it was a win for me. <laughs> a major win for me. Totally. Do you have tools that you use Scribe with specifically? Yes. So I use Scribe with ClickUp, which is a project management tool. Um, and I also use Scribe with Google Docs. So I use Scribe with um, Google Docs in addition to Google Sites, because when I build my clients' SOPs, I actually build Google Sites for them. And I love the fact that Scribes can be embedded. That's like one of my favorite features. But yeah, so it can be embedded into the Google Sites. And I'm like, the time saver. So yeah, <laughs> again, I just create the site and just populate my Scribes. It's great. So how are you introducing, say, your clients to the Scribe process? So it's a requirement. Um, <laughs> so when my clients sign on to me, majority of the people have not heard about Scribe, right? It's still like a new kid on the block for them. So for them, I'm always introducing them to, to them new systems. And they're like, I know you got something, right? So of course, I'm like, I always have something in my back pocket when it comes to systems. So um, Scribe is like, like I say, there is a better way to do this. So it, I have actually debunked any myth when it comes to OBMs. And a lot of people are probably like, you're breaking all the rules when it comes to OBMs because Scribe allows for me to honestly break those rules. I don't write my SOPs the traditional way. Um, and so when I introduce it to them, I do onboard them um, and I create an account for them so all of my clients have their own account and then if they grow their teams and we add the teams to their scribes because if I fall off the face of the earth right 
they still need to be able to like populate and find their scribes. And so that's why I create an account for them every single time I onboard them. So if I record or do any scribe, it's inside of their account. It really sounds like what you're doing is empowering your clients to support themselves, which is such a cool approach, not just with using scribe, but to your business in general. Absolutely. So as much as I love operating and running, and of course you want to feel needed as an OBM, right? Like you don't want to lose your job, but at the end of the day, like it's their businesses. So you have to set them up in a way to where it can efficiently run without you and also with you. So that's the purpose of having, you know, the type of partnerships that OBMs have with their actual clients. And so that's the part that I love about my business. I'm able to introduce them to new systems. I'm able to train the teams on them. And Scribe has been a major part of that. So outside of your clients, have you introduced Scribe to anyone else? I have introduced Scribe to my parents. Um, I've also introduced Scribe to my uncle, who is a teacher. Um, and so he's actually uh, about to be a principal. So <laughs> I just find it very interesting how um, we don't even realize, like in our day-to-day -day process, like how much simpler things could be. Um, I'm sure if I told my grandmother about it, she'd be like all over it, probably use it like once or twice, and then be like, okay, I'm over this. But when you're not operating in it every day, um, it would definitely change. It would it it would probably change how you use it. But who I haven't introduced it to, um, actually, I told my dad about it, but I didn't tell my mom about it. So I need to tell my mom because my mom is an accountant of a major firm. So she would love Scribe. I need to tell her about that. Thank you, thank you for telling me that, Laura. Thank you for <laughs> that. So, yes, it really has been your mom. It's just something that you start using every day, right? It becomes it a part of your everyday life. And so then I just start preaching the good word to everyone that I know because it's such an awesome tool and it's so easy to use. It's so easy to use, so <laughs> easy. And then if you, when you find out about it, you're like, where have you been my whole life? Like if Scribe was an actual person, you would shake it and just say, where have you been? <laughs> you're like you're a little aggressive, but it's because you, you, you need it to be here. So it's great. It's really good. So what would your life be like without Scribe? Oh, I would spend so many hours writing SOPs. It made SOPs fun again for me. Like that's the boring part of business when it comes to like, like operating, right? Operations, no one wants to talk about the unsexy part, which is the actual tools and the standard operating procedures that run the business. And so as an OBM working in this industry, I have to face that every day. So um, with Scribe, I'm able to say, hey, like this can be a game changer. We can make this a lot more efficient and <laughs> SOPs don't have to be boring. Like they can be fun again. <laughs> so, and this is how you do it and fast. Cause a lot of people don't associate SOPs being fast at all. They're like, uh-uh, like, that means I'm going to spend hours and hours documenting something, and it doesn't have to be that way. Do you have a favorite feature or one that you know you couldn't live without? Um, definitely their merge <laughs> feature, um, because whether people know it or not, whoever is watching this, um, Scribe documents everything. So every step that you take, you know, you want to be strategic about it, but I definitely love the fact that you can merge steps. And so that has cut down on a lot of the cleanup process that happens after you do a scribe. I also love the um, the exporting features and that is on the pro plan, but it's totally worth it to me to get to pro plan because there's so many different things that you can do as far as redacting and like editing the actual images and then also being able to export to specific things. So like you can do HTML and like the exporting settings is amazing because some people don't want to just see it on the Scribe platform. And so being able to see it on their platforms that they're familiar with, the having the different exporting features are super huge. So I love that. And pages, the new kid on the block, obsessed with pages, love all the different changes that are happening with it. And um I recently switched over pretty much all of my internal SOPs for myself to pages because I'm like, it's so much easier to have it on this platform. So amazing. All right. I have one more question for you and I want it to be the first thing that comes to your head. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. If, if you were to describe scribe in one word, what would it be? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 
I'm telling you, you are not the first person that said that in one of these calls. <laughs> thank you so much for meeting with me. And thank you for letting me know that supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is the perfect adjective for scribe. It is. It is. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure. You have an awesome day. And I know I'll be talking to you soon. You too.